Hi, Maddie. Um, I heard you were sick. I'm sorry. Um, so this is your video lesson, and um, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about the one, the four, and the five. I think we've kind of skated around this topic, um, but this is a really important formula for all songwriters, and it will give you something to do while you're at home um, and being bored and out of school. So um, the one, the four, and the five. Let's take... Um, the octave of C, we'll start on middle C, right? Um, and we count up as we go up the octave. So C is the root, that's gonna be one. D is two, E is three, F is four, G is five, A is six, B is seven, and we end on C, which is eight, okay? So we have the octave. Um, the formula that we're going to go over today is the one, four, five, and sometimes six. Um, and this formula is has been used to write probably millions of hit songs. Um, and it doesn't have to be just in C, you can do it in any key, um, but you use the root, and for example today we're using C, um, as your one, okay? So we have our major C chord. Um, then we'll go to our four, which is F. Then we'll go to our five, which is G. Back to four. Back to one. Um, put it all together and what do you get? One, four, five. You can switch them around too, and you can go one, five, four. Just sounds good to the ear, right? Now let's go to the six. Switch it up a little bit. We can take this to the bridge. But six, five, four. Again, six, five, four. And back to the one. Four, five, four, one, four, five. Back to the one. Um, and like I said, this works in just about, it works in any key. So let's try it in um, D. Move up a step. So um, the one clearly is going to be D. Then our four is going to be G. A is going to be our five. You can kind of hear it's like the similar chord progression. Um, and then a B would be our um, sixth. And then back to the one. Um, so that was a really standard way that you can um, put chords together. Um, and they don't necessarily have to be in that order too. So that's my favorite thing to do is find the one, the four, the five, the six. I love using the six. I even love throwing the seventh in there. Um, and sometimes the two. Um, like that one song we were working on um, with all the dissonant seventh chords. The chorus was just that walk up from C. We did, uh, sorry, C, D, E, sorry, E minor. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so C. formulas but um, let's try doing um, five four six so that would be G we're still doing C as the root so there's five
back to the one. Uh, and you can use the two as a pickup. Hopefully that has given you some useful hints as to um, how you put together a catchy um, chord progression, all right? And um, I hope you feel better soon. Everyone's had it. I had it. My kid has it right now too. So um, yeah, feel better, girl. I'll see you next week.